Thanks very much. And now to that breaking news that we will be following all morning long. A fire at the Edmondson Village Shopping Center it broke out early this morning. We have WMAR 2 News as Mark Roper live at that scene right now. And Mark, from the live pictures we've seen from your camera, it looks like the fire crew has been trying to keep that fire from getting started again. Yeah, Christian, they have been out here since about 1230 this morning, so they've been out here for more than four hours working on this fire, and uh, we understand that it's still a three alarm fire at this moment. We are going to talk with the fire spokesperson, Blair Adams, here to find out the latest on what's going on here. Very severe. Tell me, Blair, you were saying this is not the first time this place has caught on fire. Right, so right now it's a third alarm. It only went to a third alarm, but in 2008, we responded here and it was a four alarm fire that affected the Emerson Village Shopping Center. Right now we have been making and we are continuing to make well into our fourth hour aggressive attacks just to make sure that we can complete extinguishment and put the fire out. Still too early for a cause, is that right? No, the cause, um, we wouldn't be able to tell that right now. It's pretty active. Like I said, we still have fires showing throughout multiple businesses and we're prepared to be here for quite uh, some time. Well, how many stores are involved in this fire? Right now, it's a total of four stores, but we do have some that may um, be spreading to a fifth establishment. And the University of Maryland Medical Center has uh, a center here. How concerned are firefighters for keeping that safe? Well, um, prior to the fire, uh, well, we don't have any fire in that building right now, but we're making sure we had to um, open the windows for ventilation just to make sure that um, the building can be properly ventilated in hopes that no fire would get into the University of Maryland's business. And this is an old structure. I mean, it's been around since 1947. Any particular concerns or anything that makes fighting this fire particularly special or unique? Now, actually, our firefighters handled it pretty well. Um, this isn't the first time that a fire happened in the Emerson Village Shopping Center, even dating back um, to 2000, early as 2008, where we had a four alarm fire here, and then in the late 60s, where we had a six alarm fire here. So, um, no real challenge with fighting the fire at this moment and we're extremely thankful. We're extremely thankful that the fire happened at the time that it did because the businesses weren't open. Our firefighters are safe. We're making sure our community is safe and hopefully that it does not affect the entire um, shopping center. Um, we do have support and mutual aid from our partners from Anne Arundel County, Howard County and Baltimore County Fire. So we're appreciative of their support that they have given us um, here with Baltimore County Fire on the scene and throughout the city with the other surrounding jurisdictions. Any idea where uh, in the shopping center this started at? No, the, um, the origin of the fire will be part of okay. the investigation. And again, no one was injured? That's correct. We didn't have any injuries. And again, we're extremely thankful uh, that our firefighters are safe. They've been working hard well into four hours of this, so we're pretty good. And I understand BGE was out here earlier? We did have to call BGE to the scene to try to turn the gas line off. Well, thank you, Blair, for uh, taking the time to keep us updated on what's happening here with the fire. Again, the fire started here about 12.30 this morning, three alarm fire at this moment, and no one was injured. We are live in West Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.